right, one question I've received is how do you determine the demand for maybe like a traveling medical professionals that would be coming to your area? So I am gonna show you how I would approach this. So I am on indeed.com, okay? So that's one of the uh, major uh, employment sites, of course. So what I would do is start with a major employment site and just search to see what comes up right who's hiring for these traveling nurses or traveling medical professionals um so then you can see what type of demand you might receive at your corporate housing rental all right so what i'm going to do is scroll down and go to where it says what i'm going to put in traveling uh oh if i can spell traveling rn and you see CRCNA and uh, medical assistance, all kind of stuff pops up. All right, so I'm just going to search in my area and see what comes up. All right, so we can look over here and we see medical, surgical, traveling nurse. Um, we have that and we have some new listings for traveling nurses, uh, immediate care, travel nurse travel LPNs, cardiovascular. So just from a glance right now, we have quite a few um, companies that are hiring for traveling nurses in the St. Louis area. Now, let's, let's just try to search for other medical professionals. So uh, let's go down and I'm just gonna just randomly pick traveling CNA, find jobs. Okay, and I have it relevance according to the date it was posted. So um, we're not looking at things that are too old, but you see we have a patient care. Okay, traveling certified nursing assistant. This says Michigan. Um, so then they, they're looking for someone to go to Michigan. Um, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we should click on it. Let's just see. Let's look at the description. Okay, assist in the state of Michigan working along. So yeah, so this one's for Michigan. All right, just wanted to make sure, but we have medical surgical CNA. That does not say traveling. It just looks like this is a regular position. So that might not. Yeah, these don't look like too many. Well, floating travel CNA, here's another one. Doesn't look like there's a lot of, a much of a demand for traveling CNAs, but let's, let's keep going we don't know i mean because it's more than traveling nurses out here um medical assistant all right so maryville illinois so that's not too far from um st louis is really like 20 30 minutes not far because st louis is on the border of illinois uh okay so that's all i see there so it looks like so far the traveling nurses um, have the most demand, which of course makes sense. Um, you know what? Um, now that I'm seeing some things, let's look at construction. See what comes up. All right, so traveling construction superintendent. Okay, so that one would be traveling here to St. Louis, I guess. This one, travel required, looks like it's just a position where travel is just required in general, but it might be based out of St. Louis. Um, so these, you would need to look at the job descriptions to see exactly if these people are traveling to St. Louis temporarily, or if these people are just based in St. Louis and need to travel to other places. So you got to do a little bit of research, okay? Indeed is just one site um, out of many. You could do the same thing on other uh, sites as well. All right, so besides looking online, another thing I would do would maybe contact some staffing agencies. So if you are in a certain area or are looking to maybe start your corporate housing or midterm rental in a certain area, you can simply do a Google search for staffing agencies that would be hiring these traveling professionals um, into your area. So target those specific staffing agencies like um, maybe 
technical staffing agencies or um, medical staffing agencies. Those would be the type of agencies that probably would be bringing people in from other places um, into your city or whatever city you're interested in. Ask them the question, like, what is the demand? Who are they hiring for? Are they bringing people to a certain area? How many positions are they trying to fill? You might be able to get some answers that way. Now, this is something I plan on doing, um, not right now, but I did pull a list of staffing agencies in my area, and I do plan on contacting them just to um, see if they have some type of a list that I can be added to if they provide suggestions to their um, the, their employees as far as um, if they need a place to stay, here's some suggestions or places that we've worked with before, some type of list like that. So I'm going to find that out. Um, I've been just having success with getting bookings from online platforms, but that is my next step is to develop more relationships with companies and businesses so that I will be the go-to person. But I don't want to do this until I have some properties available because I don't want them to say, oh yeah, we do need placement and we need it immediately or soon and I don't have anything available. So um, that is what I plan on doing next. So hopefully this video helped you um, if you are interested in getting into corporate housing or midterm rentals and want to kind of find out what the demand is for traveling professionals that are coming to your area. Now, remember to like and subscribe this video so you can see future videos and get information from me and follow my journey. Also, you can find me on social media on Facebook and Instagram at Miss Kelly Michelle, the same name you see above. Put it all together. You'll find me there. I also have a Facebook group called Midterm Rentals 30 Day Plus Real Estate. You can join that group if you have some suggestions. It's just a way to interact with other people, ask questions get answers. Um, so that's another way to do that as well. And uh, also, yeah, you can talk to me directly <laughs> if you would like to talk about getting into midterm rentals, corporate housing, short-term rentals, any of that. You can schedule a free 30-minute consultation or call with me and we can kind of go over what you're looking to do and I can answer some questions for you. All of these links will be in the description below, okay? So you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.